Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figure Pit channel. We're taking a look at the Art Figures Heavy Armored Special Cop AF-015. Uh, this is a reissue possibly. It was another chance to get this piece basically. I think they've done it three times now. The first batch one which I had, then they did a second one which was a slight bit of a more of a blue color to the, the armor. And now this version. Um, I'm not too sure if they improved anything too much on this figure. Here's the accessories. You get the, uh, is it the Lawgiver? The gun? I forget. Forgive me. A med pack. Some clips for the gun with the bullets visible inside the clip. Uh, smoke grenade. The kind of wall mine that he can put on doors to blow them open and go in and shoot people in the face. And here is the figure itself. Now I love the Carl Urban Dread film. But I remember not being too excited about the movie when it was coming out because the trailer was pretty damn underwhelming. I did not like the trailer but love the movie and I think the trailer hurt the you know the box office to be honest with you doesn't look like we're going to be getting a second film because of the box office takings being pretty underwhelming thanks to you you Mr. Trailer but we might get maybe a TV show now thanks to the Mandalorian and a whole bunch of other TV shows that are really coming up there and kind of up in the uh, production value I mean they're basically like mini films now so maybe maybe I would prefer just a full on feature film though but beautiful piece here, man. Carl Urban as Dread was absolutely fantastic. I've always loved the look of the collar on this. Uh, now, something to note on this version, the armor on his shoulders has already kind of got that brass kind of gold paint. Whereas on the first version that I have, you had to do that yourself, which was fine. You know, it wasn't too much of a big deal. It was a bit of a pain in the ass having to get some gold paint and, and do it yourself. <laughs> but what are you going to do? But here he is rotating, a great looking piece man, I, I can't say that enough, I mean it really is, I've had it since day one, I love it, I would uh, very much like to keep him for the rest of my life, so hopefully the kind of synthetic leather suit here will hold up, you've got to be careful when it comes to the fake leather on figures, it's kind of inevitable that over time things like this, you know, they can deteriorate, but if you keep him in a pretty standard pose, if you're not in a super humid hot country you might be all right like i said i've had mine since day one and everything so far is holding up just fine but i'm talking from experience with stuff like hot toys and some of their fake leather products they don't tend to last too long but so far so good with dread here really really good suit design the hands have articulated fingers like kind of like a wire kind of frame inside the hands so that you can pose the fingers however you like some people are not a fan of that. I've never really felt compelled to change the hands myself. Some people use, uh, I believe, the Dark Knight Hot Toys hands. So, I mean, that's an option. The helmet does come off, and you've kind of got a bit of an incomplete Carl Urban head sculpt under there so that the helmet can actually rest on properly. So, um, it's interesting. But why would you? You wouldn't want to display this figure without the helmet on. But <laughs> look at the grimace, <laughs> the grizzle on him. He's moody as hell. I love that collar, man. I just love the way that comes around. It's nice and sort of chunky. Very, very cool. Definitely my favorite look for any Dread ever. Uh, but saying that, you know, spoiler alert, we've got some amazing, because um, I haven't actually uploaded the individual videos yet, but we've got some amazing Mezco 112 scale Dread stuff come into stock at the Figure Pit, guys. Some really cool comic book Dread stuff, like black and white figure and a really vibrant color version as well. But... Yeah, man, this has been the Art Figures Dread, available on the website, probably not going to hang around long. I reckon he'll go pretty damn quickly. Awesome movie, from start to finish. Great figure too. Alright, so, hope you've enjoyed the video folks. Drop a like on it if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and check us out on Instagram. If you want to see more of me, and why wouldn't you? I'm over on uh, YouTube or Dean Knight333. Come check me out. But yeah, take it easy. See you soon. Bye bye.